When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. There is no middle ground. This is Lena Headey, the four-time Emmy-nominated British actress known for playing one of the most unlikable characters in Game of Thrones and maybe television in general, Queen Cersei Lannister. It can be difficult to imagine Lena playing a character who's not a complete psychopath. But believe it or not, Lena's early career is full of characters who aren't just likable, they're sympathetic. Lena was first noticed at 17 years old by a casting director who saw her at a theater competition in London and described her as a quote, wonderful fresh country girl, subsequently casting her in her first feature film, Waterland. In flashback sequences, Jeremy Irons' character tells stories from his youth and Lena plays his love interest Mary, who struggles with an unplanned pregnancy. Can I have a baby? Much of Lena's early career consisted of similar authentic, dramatic performances in a variety of British period dramas for film and television. Must thou leave today? When shall I see thee again? One particular milestone was her role as Lizzie, a love struck maid in the Best Picture nominated drama The Remains of the Day. We have each other. That's all anyone can ever need. Some other honorable mentions include the romantic interest of Mowgli in an adaptation of The Jungle Book, a supporting role in a MacGyver TV movie, and she got her first taste of royalty as Queen Guinevere of Arthurian legend in the 1998 miniseries Merlin. Also, can we talk about how many Game of Thrones actors Lena has worked with? Roger Ashton Griffiths was in Merlin, Ron Donacci popped up in The Jungle Book, Peter Vaughn was in The Remains of the Day, and in the 2001 comedy The Parole Officer, Lena is seduced by none other than Stannis Baratheon actor Stephen Delane. Stick to what you best at. But Lena had several big breaks come her way starting in the 2000s, first with a prominent character in The Brothers Grimm, then as yet another queen, Queen Gorgo, in 300, a role she would play again in the subsequent sequel years later, in which she was given much more screen time and an opportunity to really give a commanding performance. The free men and women of Greece are not bound by a beautiful Spartan death. War is not their love. And although it was short-lived, the sci-fi series Terminator The Sarah Connor Chronicles allowed her to carry the torch of another badass heroine originated by Linda Hamilton. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Then in 2010, Lena crossed paths with another Game of Thrones alumnus, Peter Dinklage, in the indie comedy Pete Smalls is Dead. Dinklage was about to audition for Tyrion at the time and recommended Lena audition for Cersei, saying, quote, I thought she would be a good fit for Cersei because anyone as funny as Lena can also plumb the darkest depths. Lena seems to have had no trouble with that as she wraps up the final season of Game of Thrones. Whatever she does after the series is over, Lena Headey has well established that she is a force to be reckoned with. Power is power. 